What is this place? Oh my god! I came back! Woohoo! I'm in Dresden! Woohoo! I just washed my hair. I have new clothes finally! Yeah, 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 yeah! Um, it was so nice to wake up this morning and to be in this kind of artsy, like, busy environment for a while. I just love both, you know, I just love nature, but I love being um, surrounded by the buzzing life somehow. So now it's very good that I'm here. Um, this morning I spent some time just, uh, you know, just hanging some stuff that I didn't do before, like um, some drawings I had left uh, behind, some um, planning for Barcelona, which will happen next week. And now I'm heading to a kind of an experiment uh, of a friend of mine who needs people for like um, neurology something. <laughs> I can't describe too much actually. Um, it's It's been nice actually. Um, I got a message from the family of the Woofing and uh, I kind of, I don't know, I love that experience um, for this open heart that left me, you know. Um, I was left with this awesome memories and I am forgetting about the weather already. Um, it was really really nice. So what will happen today is some work done, um, some running, some sports, well I already did my yoga for today and some um, interval training I'm gonna run tonight. I feel my body is really like I got three kilograms and to be honest I don't care about that really. The thing is it's about how you feel right? So I feel a bit like um, heavier but not in a very, I don't know, not in a very um, energetic way how I used to feel so I think I'm gonna get rid for, of the animal products again. Um, oh, to be honest, I had a discussion about this thing with this friend of the woofing, right? With Patrick. So he asked me like, why do you define yourself as raw vegan when I saw you try cheese and goat cheese and the goat milk of the farm? Um, well, first, the parents were kind of insisting that it's so good for you and it's so organic and so on and so forth. And uh, at the very start, I was like prone to say no to everything they were giving, giving me. But first, you cannot be so fanatic about something that is diet. Don't be fanatic because if you want to travel, if you want to meet new people and new cultures, if you claim yourself to be an open person, you just cannot impose um, your conviction onto other people. This is just not gonna happen. So first I said, all right, you know what? I'm here for 10 days. I see how they treat the animals. I see the goat is happy. People talk to her and play her music and give her treats, the, the organic apples and stuff like that. Um, the goat is happy to give the milk to the people. They really cuddle her, they give her shelter from the harsh weather in Ireland. I mean, how can you not try that? It's not for, not even for ethic reasons, you know. Um, there's a bunch of reasons why I normally am raw vegan, right? Um, for health reasons, because I feel better. Um, because I don't want to hurt too many animals and I know what's involved in the process with mass production of meat for the planet. There's so many reasons, right? But being there in this organic farm, I knew exactly that it was not uh, whatever. It was not against the planet, it was not against my own health. Uh, yeah, I got three kilograms of weight more than what I was before, but I can get rid of them if I want, if I don't want to keep them. Who cares? I mean, um, it was good. It was good. So please stop criticizing people for um, saying they're raw vegan if sometimes they, they, they just accept something else. It's just that I say I'm raw vegan just because when I go to a restaurant, if I say that, it's my summary, it's the shortest version of what I can say to, to try and make people understand what I want to eat, you know? So um, I don't get a huge bulk of fries or pasta or whatever on the plate, but I get most likely a salad and a raw salad. Or when I'm among friends, I say that so that they don't overcook on whatever cakes and stuff like that because I don't wanna eat those things, right? So 
Um, I don't I don't think I did something strange by saying I'm raw vegan and this week I tried something different because it was an exception situation it was an organic farm and I saw everything from the field to the plate literally so um, I would not I would stop just giving definitions and putting people in boxes, right? Um, so let's say I eat mostly raw vegan, right? To be most more specific, but hey, just give it a break to this kind of religious conceptions of like fanatism. Be harmonious, be authentic with yourself, be happy, accept what it is around you and be open. Next week, Barcelona and there's gonna be other adventures awaiting us it's not entirely for holiday not really there's always a project behind it as you know me and uh, yeah I have to go and I'm late that's natural have a nice day I did a lot of good work on that. Sometimes on little beaches where, like on the shore, where you can literally have a bath. I think it's like delightful, really, on a free day to come here. Anyways, um, let's get back to what we're talking about. Oh, this is the Frauenkirche down there, by the way. It's a very beautiful day. So, um, basically, that's it for today um, I think later on I'm gonna take care of some bureaucracy in preparation for um, the next interviews that are gonna happen and uh, I'm writing a book with a co-author from Stuttgart we're writing a book about love encounters Kennenlerngeschichten um, in German and I'm quite excited because I bumped into a lot of people that I interviewed personally and then I wrote their story they have such amazing Sometimes just unlikely encounters, you know, it's just great how people can relate to each other Maybe they know each other for a long time and they think they're friends and then at one point and that's the interesting thing What determines which point? Um, the trigger of love is like injected into the brain of these people that From that moment on they're no longer friends and there is something more like the flame of love is there and This is something on a research with this friend of mine um, she's a psychiatrist so she's she's got the let's say the skills and the knowledge to detect some common patterns in the stories and I'm just the interviewer so to say and the like the one that is writing the narrator mostly or editor so to say or translator in the case of other stories and uh, I don't know when we're gonna release the book exactly because um, I have to do all the illustrations afterwards and by the way if you want to contribute you're more than welcome um, you can just send me an email or drop a comment on here with your contact and uh, you'll be part of the story and you will get a free illustration from me which is pretty fun I mean uh, you will see the image of that moment that you fell in love with this person and it doesn't need to be your um, your current partner it can be an ex or whatever so yeah it's a it's an interesting project it's quite nice which we do actually for fun for the sake of it and to encourage single people that you can encounter love at any po point in any moment in life if you keep the heart open anyways I wish you a wonderful wonderful day 
Bye.